The boys of fall are back in action. It's hard to believe high school football season is officially in full swing. Even though it feels like it today yeah. out there. Our Brad Galley is live in Gross Point Woods, getting us pumped up for our third Leo's Game of the Week. Brad. It's starting to feel like fall. It truly is. And high school football takes center stage for us on these Friday nights. In Gross Point North and Lance Cruz North, we get a rivalry that resets for the first time since 2013. And for the first time since 1980, the Norsemen have a different man patrolling the, has the sidelines here as Frank Sambera is no longer the head coach here. The man tasked with replacing him is Joe Druin. Coach joining us tonight here at Gross Point North. Hi, Brad. Good to see you. Welcome back uh, for another football season. You've been on this staff before. You're tasked, though, with replacing a man who you call the boss and uh, is no longer with this program. How tough has that been, and uh, how have you accepted the challenge? Uh, I, I've accepted the challenge, and I think the kids have accepted the challenge as well. Um, Frank was a legend, yeah. is the legend here at Gross Point, and I worked with him for 10 years, so it's an honor to be stepping in his footsteps. I saw uh, you know, the comments from him throughout the summer saying he was forced out, and I'm sure you're just trying to do your job, but was that part of it difficult to know that maybe that he didn't leave on the best terms? And to be honest with you, I'm, I really don't know the details behind it, and today's really about the kids. You said it's about the kids. You told me that before we even went on camera. You're wearing white because you guys won last week, a little superstitious there. How nice has it been to start the season the way you guys have? Our first game was kind of disappointing, yeah. but the kids answered real well. You know, we, we have a... We have mantra right now. We're saying burn the boat. So forget the past, move on, and that's what they did for the first game. They burned the boat. They got into it, and we we had our second second game, first one of the season was, was outstanding. The way they responded to play a school that this this program hasn't played in five years, a bit of an unknown. I mean, a few butterflies in the sidelines for your guys tonight, or because of the unknown? Well, it definitely is. Um, two of my coaches went to Lance Cruz, so Lance Cruz North was their natural rivalry. Wow. And when I coached at Gross Point North before and at Gross Point South, you know, we always had some good battles with Lance Cruz North. So. We kind of dubbed it the battle for the true north tonight. <laughs> I like that, man. Best of luck to you. Thank you. And good Thank luck the rest much. of the season. All right, Thank we're going to have highlights of this one on Action News at 11. We'll be back here live at 6 o'clock with the other side on the battle of the true north. Guys? All right. It's going to be on. Oh, here yeah. we go. For sure. And you'll probably want to have your jackets on tonight if you're going to be I think so. Game. If you're going to sit out there for a while, there's not a lot of breeze, but mm. there's not a lot of heat either. So that's mm. gone. Temperatures already in the 60s in a lot of the suburbs and dropping out from 71 here, as you can see now. So, uh, yes, uh, sitting outside for quite a while, probably a light jacket will help you out. You can see temperatures almost all over the whole state in the 60s. Uh, we will get cooler tonight, I think, than we did last night in most cases. Uh, in Detroit last night, we were 62. Tonight, we go down to around 60. You can see because of the clouds, there's not a whole lot of drop here uh, from the upper 60s to around 60 degrees here. But uh, tomorrow, there's just not a lot of whole lot of heating either because of these clouds. They are sticking around. Now, the nice thing.